today, we're headed to the WWE Royal Rumble in Tampa Bay, where I'll be sitting ringside at Tropicana Field with a VIP package priced at 47,000 Canadian dollars. Holy smokes! Shout out to Fungus' mom. She paid for this entire package for her son, and I was invited to go along. This elite package comes with front row seats, an exclusive backstage experience, access to the press conference, WWE wrestler appearances, a Friday SmackDown watch party that's being held in Raymond James Stadium, and a bunch of other things as well. And of course, with ringside seats, you get to keep your chair. Even though last year I didn't get my chair when I was supposed to get my chair. Wonder if I'll get my chair. They also send you a thank you for your purchase from a WWE wrestler. Last year was Rey Mysterio. This year... G'day WWE Priority Pass guests. This is WWE Superstar Grayson Waller and on behalf of the WWE and on location, I want to say thank you for your purchase. I hope you're as excited as we are for the most epic Royal Rumble of all time. Can't wait to see you guys in Florida. Now I went to the Royal Rumble last year with my girlfriend with a VIP package. But this VIP package is more than double that price. What's up? Yeah, the glasses. What a douchebag. Two days ago, I busted a blood vessel in my left eye. I won't even show you. Kind of look like that famous musician. I swear it's not pink eye, and I'm also not high. Busted up eye or not, I am not missing the Royal Rumble. We went last year in hopes to see The Rock, and we didn't see The Rock. We did not see The Rock at all. But this year is different, okay? Huh? It worked last time I wore a shirt like this. That's just like his home state, Florida. Come on, Rock, he's gotta be there. And because I don't have any other friends to show this, check out my autograph, Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels. At the time of this recording, Troyden was unaware of the allegations. I sleep with them every night. Either way, I gotta catch a flight in about seven hours. So I'm gonna try to get some sleep and then we're gonna head to Florida. Let's go. I'm gonna hit the camera. You ready? Three, two, gotcha. The flight to Tampa Bay was only supposed to be about seven hours with one connect in Toronto. Unfortunately though, my first flight was delayed by two hours which forced me to miss my connect. And because of that, they delayed my next flight for 13 <laughs> hours. So instead of wandering in the airport, I decided to get a hotel. When I got here, there was an old couple doing it in that window. I didn't record it, but I watched. So I'm stuck in the six till 6 a.m. because that's when my flight is. I hope The Rock is there. That's the only thing that can make things better right now is Dwayne Johnson coming down to the ring. After another sleepless night, I finally headed for my flight to Tampa Bay. But let me tell you, I was in no shape or form ready for the insane humidity in this swamp of a city. It was 28 degrees in January. And it turns out that not only Fungus's mom bought me and her son tickets, she also bought tickets for my Discord mod and Zesty. I'm a big Vince McMahon guy. So here's the pool we have. I just saw an iguana over there. There's nudity on the wall. I gotta censor that out. Why am I still showing it? So I made it to the Airbnb. It is so hot here. I don't know how anyone lives in Florida, okay? No wonder they're all crazy. The humidity here is just insane. It's winter for Christ's sake. My eye is getting better. The glasses I think are gonna come off tomorrow. It's, it, it's getting better. I haven't slept in, in days and days. Who do you got winning the Women's Royal Rumble? I have Alexa Bliss winning the Women's Women's Rumble. And who do you got winning the men's? Uh, Ric Flair. I got Karma winning the Women's Rumble this year. She's a big woman. She's gonna take up all the space and throw the other ones out. Okay, and who do you have winning the Men's Rumble? I have uh, the Funkosaurus, Brodus Clay. He's gonna go on a roll. Funky's on a roll. Who do you got winning the Women's Rumble? And I got Jay Cardell, fuck, fuck Cargill, whatever fuck her name is. And who's winning the Men's Rumble? Man, I have a couple options who I want to win. First, CM Punk. Second is MJF. He's going to be back. Fuck AEW. And third is Chris Benoit. What the hell is wrong with these people? Up first was to head to the SmackDown watch party at the Raymond James Stadium. I thought they were just going to have us watch SmackDown in a suite or something. But it turns out they had something planned for us later that night. I met a couple fans from Germany that said they wanted to take a photo with me. They are big fans of my videos, so they wanted to get one with Zesty too. After a few photos with us, they decided to let us have a Q&A. Um, can you name one NBA basketball player for me? <laughs> oh, uh, Dennis Schroeder, right? I'm a German guy. Thank you. Here you go, hello, hey. And Shaq O'Neal. Oh, <laughs> 
After the Q&A, they then told us we're gonna actually be watching SmackDown out on the field. Tom Brady was out here one time. I miss him. They then gave us a tour of the boat, which I didn't even know you could go on the boat. I thought it was just like a prop or something. Out here on the boat. Very nice boat. Pirate crew only. I want to play you next WWE 2K. For, for what? Underdogs, I don't know. Appreciate you, man. Awesome, hey, man. Good to see you, man. No, Good luck. You. Enjoy the show, man. Appreciate it, man. Right, thank you. We're out here at the Raymond James Stadium waiting for SmackDown to start. I wish there was a way I could bet on this. The heat was so intense, I thought I was gonna die multiple times. But we had to wait another 90 minutes for SmackDown to finally start. Yeah. SmackDown starting, boys, are you excited? I love yeah. SmackDown. SmackDown, yeah, yeah. Rudy Poo, Candy Ash. <laughs> It was definitely different watching SmackDown in a football stadium, but the damn heat was so much I couldn't even think. So here's the package they gave us. I haven't even opened it yet, so this is me seeing it for the first time. Oh, we got ourselves a, a Royal Rumble hat. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is a title right here. Oh, look at that. Yes. This is actually pretty lit, I'll, I'll be honest. Oh, look at that. Suede. WWE Magazine with some photos of various wrestlers and a limited edition Royal Rumble pin. If you don't know about Fungus, he's a really rich kid and he loves to spend it on packs. Hey, Biggie. Hey. Yeah. How much is this worth? 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Let's go. We got a French Canadian. I pulled a Chad Gate. What's his name? Gable. 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 After Fungus got done opening about $6,000 worth of packs and only getting about $200 back, it was finally time to get ready for the Royal Rumble. So we're about to head to the Royal Rumble, and I'm checking the rustling news. There's a lot of things going on with uh, Mr. McMahon and the number two. I don't know what's happening, but um, I'm just hoping The Rock is here. I got this shirt on. It's white. It's so hot. I'm going to sweat through this. I'm going to look like a greasy bastard, aren't I? You already do. We then took an Uber to the meeting spot at the Marriott Hotel. And someone needs to tell me if this is normal in Florida. Once we got to the Marriott, they then loaded us on a bus and promised they weren't going to kidnap us. <laughs> Alright, we made it. I think I'm sweating a little bit, but it could be worse. What's up, boys? The line was pretty short for VIP, but I was still able to meet some fans while I was waiting. What's up, man? I've been, awesome, I've been watching some middle school, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah. Thank you, man. Videos, everything, bro. Thank you, man. Lit, bro. Once inside, they brought us to a VIP section where it was unlimited food and liquor. Champs right here. Join it! Yo! brought a few rustlers up in the suite to take photos with us. After that, they then took us down to the ring to get a photo opportunity. Yo, we are out here, boys. We are out here. Hey! hey. What's up, boy? I'm in the wrong boys. Still not work, man. Well, we <laughs> they then took us to the best part of the entire night, and they also yeah! took our phones. That's because they took us backstage and we weren't allowed to film. And I kind of see why, because as soon as I went back, we ran into CM Punk, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, The Undertaker was there. In fact, every single person that was rustling, AJ Styles was getting a haircut. It was pretty sad they took the phone from us, but I understood. There's a lot of stuff going on backstage, and they don't want to leak anything before the event. But it was crazy. Even crazier than that time I pissed with Michael Cole and Triple H. <laughs> 
We just went backstage. These two unfortunately did not, but dude, we just saw everyone. We saw The Undertaker, Liv Morgan, uh, Big E, Roman Reigns. And it was now finally time to head to our seat. G is literally right over there. So here's my seats. We're, uh, we're fairly close. I mean, you know, right there. It's, it, it's pretty close, pretty close. I thought it was gonna be over there, but it turns out we're on this side. Waiting for the start. Any moment now, I think. Oh, Michael Cole, I took a piss with you. Rumble was actually pretty good, but I'll be honest, I, I didn't know who half the wrestlers were. A lot of them came from NXT, and I don't watch the minor leagues. That's tough. Viva la raza! Oh, 
sure, Paul. And after all that, it was finally time for our main event, the Men's Royal Rumble. Carlito left his apple on the side of the apron. Andrade ended up throwing the apple into the crowd and it hit fungus in the head. I started recording right as the apple hit him. <laughs> Get that. You got the apple. Fungus got the apple. Take a bite out of it. Take a bite. Take a bite. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, at this point, I was getting pretty worried.
was, Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble again. And as soon as he won, we didn't even have time to stick around. They ushered us right away backstage because the press conference was about to start. The Rumble winners, Bailey and Cody Rhodes, answered some questions. And then came the game, Triple H who dodged every Vince McMahon question that came his way. Once everyone was done talking, they then let us have a photo opportunity in front of the press conference set. And just like that, it was all over. They sent us on a bus back to the hotel. Guys, I'll be honest. I feel a little responsible for this. I've gone to the last two Royal Rumbles, and they have both sucked, and Cody's won both of them. Where the hell was The Rock? I don't want to talk about it. The women's Royal Rumble was good. I, I can say that for the first time in my life that I enjoyed the women's match more than the men's. The men's Royal Rumble, not a single surprise. Not a single, in my opinion, not a single surprise. In fact, I, who were the returns? Sami Zayn came back, which is cool, at number 30. I didn't even know we were on number 30. We couldn't see the numbers anywhere. I had no idea. The event was cool, though. We got to meet a lot of people. We got to go backstage, which was absolutely crazy. I really wish we could have had a can there. In fact, backstage was better than the Men's Royal Rumble. I just can't believe it. Like, I, I cannot believe that they let Cody Rhodes win again after after what happened last year, do it again, what? Come on! I think the highlight of the night was Fungus getting hit with the Carlito Apple. This is now two Rumbles in a row that I've gone to, expecting to see The Rock, and he wasn't there. Do I go to WrestleMania? Do I even risk it? I don't even know anymore. Did you guys hear about Vince? And Brock? Who's Brock? Not, not, my, not my Brock. Brock wouldn't do that. Either way, it's three in the morning, so I gotta get some sleep because my flight's in about five hours. I'm really bad at scheduling things. Guys, thank you for watching, and as always, keep your stick on the ice. I wore this shirt for nothing. <laughs>